back. All right, it's a lot of uh, uh, well traffic and what have you out there already. People are busy going about shopping for clothes and food items, you know, just to make Christmas, uh, well, different from every other day of the year. But then we leave out the most important things, uh, especially for married couples. Uh, this time of the year, you know, you're busy trying to please your kids, uh, maybe please your in-laws and please people around you. And then you leave out your significant order. Somehow, it might not be a deliberate thing, you know. Uh, it just comes with the season. But I have with me an expert and together we'll be talking about how this Christmas can be a bit more memorable, you know, uh, when you put your spouse into uh, consideration. It's a pleasure to have on the program once again. Uh, she was here yesterday, but today she's here again doing us a big honor. It's a pleasure to have her. She is a doctor and a sex therapist, Dr. Fumi Akingbade on cruising. Good morning, ma'am. Thank Good morning. you for coming again. Thank you Thank for you. coming again. All right, so already you know what we're talking about. It's Christmas, mm -hmm. and we're all used to all the clothes, all the food, and all of that. But then there are things we don't think about, you know, because we don't even know they are important. Yeah, maybe you take us through. <laughs> so you know, sometimes mm -hmm. it's a holiday period, mm -hmm. and uh, typical for us down here, so many workload, stress, traffic, traveling, and everybody wants to stay with their family. That's true. And it's true we take our children for this, for that, the for fear, the for fairity. Mm -hmm. But sometimes the man of the house is neglected. <laughs> Even the woman is, ex I mean, she, she majors or minors sometimes mm -hmm. and leave the most important mm -hmm. thing. The intimacy, intimacy between husband and wife should be more enhanced mm -hmm. during this time of, uh, during this season mm -hmm. where there's time we have had our hands mm -hmm. to spend together. So why don't you just uh, rekindle the old flame? Okay. Do something weird. Okay. You know, romantic. It's okay. Your your place is decorated. Your bought food and all those. The in-laws are there. Just you know, find a way of escaping out and give yourself good, uh, loving, tender touches here and there. Mm -hmm. Romantic gesture. Remember those days you were dating. Mm -hmm. Bring them back. You know, just do something that the man will like. Oh, so you see, it's so you see, it's a ah, ah, ah. And the woman will say like, mm -hmm. I'm still worth chasing. Oh, mm -hmm. after all. Mm -hmm. So if this is Christmas, I think I want it again and again. <laughs> because sometimes, because of the, you know, here and there, you do that. You just forget mm -hmm. that. The other half matters. True. This is a time that we need to uh, validate ourselves again. Tell your husband, you're still the best. In spite of the poor belly, in spite of every other thing, <laughs> the stress and covering his <laughs> hair, <laughs> or his only body so white <laughs> now. Just wow. tell him that, you know, hmm. if I come to this world again, I'll oh, still marry you is. over and over and over again. So that's what we need in, the, in, in, in this season. Just to get ourselves prepared for next year. Let somebody know that ah, I'm, still, I'm still important here. Mm -hmm. So the person will work harder mm -hmm. and better. Mm -hmm. Then the lady too, she's doing this and that, tell her your, your meal is still the best. Mm -hmm. Regardless of mama put and all this. Ah, I remember all those days that I mean go to work and we eat all stuff. Mm -hmm. But when I come oh, home, I know I come home to read meal. Wow. Thank you. You are the best. In fact, taking care of my children, seeing the way they're grown. These are all the things we need in Christmas period. Yes, we we have the food and the meal and all those, but we need to be connected. Mm -hmm. You know, don't. It's okay for the food, I mean, but just sleep and stay together. At least let the head of the woman be on the chest of the husband, at least for say us of the funny, funny story. You can even do it and seek a home. Just yeah. do something that will make this Christmas remarkable. Already the atmosphere is full of yes. buy, sell, exactly. eat. Yeah. But how about 
to Ghanaians. Mm, mm. We need a bit more contact, is we what they're do. saying. Yes. We do. Okay. We now, do. I have this question to mm. ask. Now, uh, well, while we're talking about love and all of that, we mm. cannot shy away from the fact that there are a lot of marriages that are going through, you know, very serious challenges, you know, and all of that. Couples living like uh, their tenants, you know, in the same house and all of that. They're virtually strangers. Now, for such people, maybe they're watching at this time, a man or a woman out there might be wondering, where do I start? Do you understand? Maybe there's been a long time of not being a couple, if you know what I mean. Such couples, where can they start from? Just being a friend again. One thing I notice about friends, even if you're trying to come together, they have something to gist about. Sure. And when we're dating, we're gisting. Hmm. At least there's a way that we kept on talking and talking and you like, oh, I wish I see her again. <laughs> or while you were exchanging whatever on phone. Hmm. Just, you know, rekindle such. The meaning of courtship is actually paying conscious attention. Okay. It should be a thing that you do immediately after the wedding. It shouldn't stop a day before the wedding. Mm. But ironically, that's what we see that's here. That's what happens. That's what happens. It's after marriage that everybody goes through. You know, every other day becomes abnormally normal. Um, yes. Abnormally normal. So, mm. But you continue the courtesies of courtship. Mm. You know, be friends to one another. Tell, you know, the point here is that we're actually not friendly. Our communication is lacking. And most of us are so much eating the agenda. You have so many things to hide, so you can't actually come out and talk to your spouse. Mm. When you know you're dating someone at the place of work, mm. and what will you do tell your spouse? Because you know, you know, accidentally it's you know, my it's yeah. mm. and So you don't really talk. We should wow. talk. We should talk. And sometimes because of all whatever the demand here and there, the sex life is zero. Hmm. So we should revive that. Bring some sexy, spicy things, you know, be creative this season, be innovative, you know, do things that is especially man do. You hardly ask your husband for sex and the man say, no, I want to go and do something on computer. He will quickly finish up with you mm -hmm. and go back to the computer. You know, mm -hmm. do something that will get you connected. I know that every other thing is working against our being united. Even the, uh, the school runs, mm. the church runs, the this runs and that, you you just see husband and wife only dumping their, you know, stressed out body on, on the, the bed so and everybody sleep. sleep. Nobody mm. talk to one another. And the next day they are in the car together on traffic. This one faces direction, the other one faces that direction. Wow. Nothing fun, nothing exciting. But you, this video look like, you know, when we used to, you know, you know, bring out issues, things that, that we, you know will interest our fellow. Mm -hmm. I don't like ball, but if ball is what we interest, I have to go and, you know, see what it is you know maybe start the conversation from football mm. something like that we just need to be connected because the children we're raising they don't know they don't have anything to look up to when we don't really have an example to show so if we do that in spite mm. of all pillows like that i mean in a home where a father doesn't even hug their mother mm -hmm. you know so the child is when when she sees two adults hugging uh, it looks like a big deal. Yes, I mean, what to that about yeah. a man can easily rape a lady? Mm, yes. You know, and I, I tell couples, what, what, what's wrong with, in the fact that you sit down, your wife sits on your laps in the in the living room. Mm -hmm. Don't say stand up, stand up. The children are working, they are watching, watching. Stand up. Ah, you're grown up. What this? That's what is needful. Mm -hmm. Even when you hug yourself, you play, you this. Even when you kiss, you dance to you no know, music. The children will just be looking at you like, what's wrong with all these guys? What is it like? It's stabilizing them. Hmm. It's good. If children that comes out from such an environment, they, they do better in life. They have hmm. better concept of life. Because they, 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 they are groomed in an environment of acceptance and law. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, nobody's under any tension. So they can easily come to you mm -hmm. to ask questions. They are more expressive. They are more expressive. A lot of our children, they have mentors outside, outside their parents. True. Because their parents are not, not, not approachable. You've got, you can't even see the vibe between the husband and wife. Mm -hmm. Why? We just have this one life to live. We fall off it. Help me that. If we are not praying, we are dying. <laughs> if something happened, the, the, uh, the mother dies now, the following one, the woman, the man should be able to go. Because there's this thing about both of us that we are inseparable. Mm. We should bring it. And it's not something that is magical. 
If somebody will work out, hmm. you work with your marriage out. out. So you right. work your marriage out. And it's not necessarily going to be easy hmm. or comfortable or convenient while doing it. The other person might even be resistant, but you keep on doing it. I discover that what you keep on giving is what people give back to you. True. And you can't give love and get it. Uh, if you laugh and smile, somebody will just say, hey, 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 today, you know, the moment you see it, they start laughing. Wow. So you see that everybody laughs around you. Mm -hmm. But if you just, mm -hmm, uh, the children will go to their room and put it, you know, uh, and nothing. Even to their assemblies, they, yeah. they are not just throwing. Yeah. So I think we should just get connected more. This is Christmas. It's true. And, um, okay. All right. Now, uh, there's something I want for us to talk about. Yes. Why we're talking about getting uh, more romantic with our uh -huh. spouses and all of that? I know some people listening might find that a bit questionable, especially where it's tilting towards sex and sex matters, mm -hmm. uh, because there seems to be like uh, an indistinct, you know, a line of discord between sex and spirituality. If you know what I mean, okay. some religion wants you to be holy, and people misconstrue that to mean that you keep away from everything that has to do with you know carnality yes exactly yes. what would you have to say sex. about that yes hmm. ironically sex came from god hmm. and sex wasn't the reason for the fall sex wasn't that apple they ate so they gave, just gave us that feel do you know why i said so mm -hmm. because before the fall mm -hmm. If you, because it's good to read the Bible clearly with a clear mindset yeah. and have, uh, and and then help us stand against faulty conceptualization. Okay. The faulty mindset affects our, bed, our sex bed and truncates it. We have issues, those of us who are from the religious set, because we have a faulty mindset and the heart of the matter is a matter of the heart. Hmm. So the moment you have a faulty belief, your action, your habits become faulty. Hmm. Now, sex came from God. Sex was God's idea. Forget those pornography actors. They are not the original inventor yes. of sex. Okay. God thought about sex and gave it to the couple. He says, he said, he said, it is a peculiar package given to the married. In fact, you are the only one divinely uh, 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 allowed, to, allowed to sexually yeah. satisfy your spouse. Mm -hmm. Any other person can do any other thing except sexual relationship. And that's why, even in, in, in the Bible, in, in the place in Corinthians, he said, don't allow the separation, sexual unity to, to, to be mm -hmm. for long. That even if you want to go on prayer and fasting, get the consent of oh, your God. spouse yeah. before you just go. So, sex was God's idea. Mm -hmm. That I wouldn't know, but I just have a few that said, there's a part of God that's a little bit highly erotic. When, because in some way, Solomon is uh, expensive, oh, yeah. expressive. Yeah. Yeah. So, sex, when God was creating man and woman, every mm -hmm. other private organ was in situ before the devil came and made man sin. True. We were not just one figure. Everything that makes me feminine was in right built there. Mm. in me before the devil came to destabilize the whole thing. Same goes to the man. Everything that makes a man to be sexually uh, complete okay. mm. was in a man before the fall. Mm. So if I don't I don't know how we will have our children if they're handing me a fall. Now if God will have made sure everything was complete because he said it's good. And it's very good. So if God and Bula made everything complete, then sex should not be an issue. In marriage. In marriage. Mm. Because sex itself has a root in spirituality. But it's just that you only feel it physically. Okay. You know the physical feeling, the arousal, the libido, what people even, think makes you yeah. mm. That's so, and it's what you experience mm. in the outside flesh. in the mm. flesh. Mm. And that's where the people people get confused that if you can have this urge, this glow, mm. this thing in you, then you should it's a lie. Let me tell I, I tell pastors, look, have sex before you go and, and, and preach. Or you go to Imam, have sex before you go and preach. Men, you, you will deliver very well. <laughs> I, as in the people, because already you are satisfied, you are, you are bringing out your best. Mm. It's not that your staff over staff or your juniors have sex. Are you seeing my lady not wear dress or is not wear seated? Your house will always be going there. Mm. Because what you are denied is what you will be hungry of. Hmm. So sex is not something that, if I want you want to have good relationship with God, have sex first, satisfy yourself, and then go. Lift holy hands. And you know, you're going to. 
well. I mean, this might sound a bit funny to people, but it's short. It's, ser it's serious matters because I know that this has been responsible for a lot of marriage breaking up and all of that. Now, I want you to talk about the uh, how how important sex is, you know, because I know that we are wired differently, you know, the women and the men. Uh, how how important is it to a woman and then to a man? Do you understand my question? Uh -huh. Now, because of the way we are wired differently, mm -hmm. the, if the man does not understand the sex from the viewpoint of the woman, mm -hmm. the woman will not be satisfied. He will be frustrated. He's likely to go out. Now, when the woman also does not understand that the man is wired separate, is differently, mm -hmm. he will deny him. Mm -hmm. He will be driving him away like a pedestrian fly. Mm. He will get to a time he will be frustrated. He may jump to the house girl, the dirty fleece and field, um, field house girl, or go out or start imagining if the woman is dead. Mm. Who will lie? Do you understand? All because the woman does not understand sex from the view makeup. It's not the viewpoint. Mm. So now, a man, the makeup of a man differs. Okay. The makeup of a woman differs. And I tell marriage couple, take time as in like you're studying thesis or you're doing ICANN. Study the different liberal languages, allows the differences, preferences of your husband. Okay. Then take time to meet them every time. When it comes with subtle desire. Most of the time, our culture and, and the tradition, we're not allowed to be actually expressing sexually here. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of people want to stone me now. Whatever I'm saying, <laughs> we're not allowed to. Yeah. Then you subtly understand that this fellow and see that ah, he's going all out here. I see hot, hot legs, straight, tattoo breasts, you know, cleavages, and every other thing. Every other, and the man is like, oh God, let me just get home. And the moment he gets home, and you just look at, wow. This one is falling under. Then you start wondering, hey, so what happened between you and your secretary? That's a foolish statement. You do not tell the man to do. You, you, you don't even need to remove his cloth. Just make sure that there's space for you guys to, to. Okay, I think I should have warned you that <laughs> to do the show. An adult only edition. An adult only edition. And by the time the man is at the hour, he's like, what are you saying? Bring me check. I can sign any bill. Because he's been tortured. Look at Michalika. They put a nude body there. What is Michalika has to do with nudeness? Mm -hmm. So it's like she got him. A man forgets the clergy, no clergy, the way they are wired, the moment they see. So when a woman understands, you don't deny them often. Mm -hmm. Then the man also should understand that what triggers a man is quite different from, from the woman. I don't need to see your nudeness and I'll be on. Men, let there be nine, ten people naked. But be caring, be tender, be understanding, be very kind to me. You know, when you want to get into the legs of any woman, get into her heart. Mm -hmm. The moment you get into her, even if you are the most ugliest person, and they say, ah, what's wrong with you? You see, they, what's they, he's here? very yeah. kind, mm -hmm. he's very tender. He went to visit my mother the other day when, mm -hmm. during her uh, birthday, I can't even remember. Those are the things that will just get the woman. Move a woman. And she's emotional. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you get into her, you are understand so and it takes a time to get aroused you the more you see your own mm. let us see anything she just dead okay and why you just like so you're the best mm -hmm. when even if she doesn't have teeth in her mouth and say you're so beautiful <laughs> she does like this with no teeth eh? you know you're getting her aroused mm -hmm. and before you know it she, she's ready but many are african men this is the problem i have with them they skip all those foreplay and then stop on the woman and they legally rape the woman the woman will just lay down there like a lot of clergy. No, it's not a reference that this is lying in state. Are you done? Let you finish. I've been covered up with clothes and the man will say, oh God, she's rigid. She's not rigid. You bypass a lot of things. Okay. Sex so time start to bed bedtime. Breakfast time, sickness. It's not that you treated her like an elevated house girl. You shouted at her, you did this at her, and at the end of the day, jump and I say, right let's go for a crusade. Yeah. So I don't you attend that crusade mm -hmm. yourself. I understand that. Yes. Okay, all right. So it, it's about you, uh, sex is about understanding. You just have to have, have a knowledge. Yeah. And that's one thing a lot of us here, we don't want to take time. You mm -hmm. study everything. Mm -hmm. You get, you get, you get destroyed over things you don't study. You abuse anything you mm -hmm. don't understand.
Do you understand me? So that is it. And with that, most of the time, my dear, you don't need to go to any other call girl. Take time to end the study and bring any idea you see outside onto your bed mm. and marry your goat to your good to roll. True. True. And if you put that one in place this Christmas, in fact, next year you'll be like, let Christmas come on time. Because there's no substitute for sex when it comes to marriage, especially wow. with men. Especially with men. Mm. All right, I hope that has said <laughs> something to a woman out there because I do know that this is an issue that is causing Wahala in a lot of, a lot on the right. Especially the Tarea women. Exactly. I'm, I'm on the road. I mean, yes, we understand. But when you woke up early in the morning, you were prepared in the next five minutes, you can give your husband good, quickie, fast SMSX. Five minutes. SMS. SMS. You know SMS. SMS. Yes. Quick text. Oh, okay. Five okay. minutes is done because the transmission rate is in the highest. And in five minutes. Okay. Mm. And the man, you see them that when they have this money glow. Mm. We call it money allows us. You see them hard when in the morning. Yeah. It's because the transmission is, mm. you know, fluctuating in the highest. Okay. Rain that time so that's why you are going to the bathroom you are, you are ready for the office uh, and the man is just then uh, you know give you new answer as soon as you and you're like whoa whoa whoa, whoa that's not your ah, is that your food okay somebody else will give him food <laughs> you say is that your food mm -hmm. so you we just need to be sensitive the most important study the man and study the woman okay I think that will help. Wow. Wow. It's been an explosive <laughs> time with you once again. All right. Now, we still have two more minutes to end okay. of the show. Now, I just want us to go over over it once again, you know, uh, what to do this Christmas again. Just tips this time around. What the woman can do. Friendly what with the man one another. Do, yes. mm -hmm. Be friendly with your children. Okay. Be friendly with your spouse, your in-laws. As much as you're uh, placing boundaries, let it be, be uh, workable boundaries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Be friendly with your spouse. Spark up the old flame. Let it be that you remember what you used to do while you're dating. Bring it back alive and sexually ask yourself what are the new things or what are fantasies you have mm -hmm. that you think we can't experiment this Christmas. Mm -hmm. Let it be memorable. Okay. Do those two things. Mm -hmm. Those two things that will like, oh God. Okay. I love this my wife. <laughs> I love my husband. <laughs> note that all of the tips she has given out are for married people only all right so uh, okay. yeah only all the sex matters don't concern you if you're not married <laughs> thank you so much Dr. you're welcome <laughs> all right it's been a very interesting time on the program why are we doing this some people may ask that's because a lot of homes are in disarray mm. because of very little issues like this you know? and, yeah very minor issues things that you can actually take care of in your bedroom you go out to your pastor and lament and lament and disturb the poor man who's trying to concentrate on his own wife by the way because he's human too if you know what i mean so it's christmas again we are all busy i'm a career woman i have a husband who works and i know it's same with a lot of us out there and we get back home almost at the same time we're all five out and tired but then we can find time where there is no time to put that little spark you know back into our marriages because i tell you you can actually enjoy your marriage a marriage That's is meant to be enjoyed not endured all right mm -hmm. and the good book also says if one can chase a thousand two will chase ten thousand so there is strength in unity be united this christmas and let us share love all right thank you for watching cruising today once again thank you so much Dr. you're welcome i keep ready for coming on the show remember lavette feminine hygiene wash is still up for you put that on your shopping list this christmas and just in case you're wondering the number to call if you want some 0818-666-668 all right call that number and they have it delivered to you thank you for watching again now for those who want to go and be a part of love season concert just sms me artists are performing 